Hey everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to live stream to WP Stream using XSplit. First, you're going to go to your WordPress website onto your dashboard and click on plugins and add new. These are some of the plugins available, but you're going to type in WP Stream and it's going to show up like this. You're going to click on install now and wait. And now on activate. Go to the bottom of the plugins page and you'll find the installed plugin. Go to the sidebar and right at the bottom click on WP Stream and click on the link for you to register or log in. So just type in your credentials, your personal info, email address and password of course. Make sure it's a strong one as well. Now on I'm not a robot and simply register. This is going to take you to the accounts page on WP Stream, but you're going to go back to WordPress and fill in the details that you've just registered with. Save changes. And that's it. You've been connected. Now you're going to go to free live channel slash videos and add new. Here, type in your name, your title for your channel and click on publish on the right hand side. You can choose to record or not and just click on broadcast to channel. This is going to take some time but for the purpose of this video I just fast forward it. Now you're going to click on broadcast with third party and you'll see a server and stream key. Go to XSplit Broadcaster and go to broadcast right on the top and set up a new output. You're going to click on custom RTMP and type in a name for your stream and you'll find the RTMP URL which you'll go back and click on the server, click to clipboard and paste it here and for the stream key go back and copy to clipboard and paste once again. Now click on OK and once you click on the stream button it would start broadcasting. So if you go back, you can click on the permalink and this is going to take you to your live stream. If you click play, it's going to appear and this is how it looks like. Now you're going to go back to XSplit and this is how you stop your live stream. Simply just click once again and your live stream would have stopped. If you go back, you'll see that it will stop over here as well. Now I'm going to show you how to do a VOD based on this live stream. So go back to WordPress and click on WP Stream and WP Stream Media Management. You'll find under video management the file name and click on create new free VOD from the video. Once again, name it and go to the side and click on publish once again. If you click on the permalink, this is going to take you to your video on demand. Just press play and as you can see with a VOD, you can fast forward, go back, play, pause, So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.